Sales in the tourism sector polarized last year in Jeju. Sales in duty-free shops and casinos sharply increased. Meanwhile, sales in restaurants, accommodations, transportation businesses decreased. Joseph Kim reports. 14.7 million people visited the island last year. That's a 3% decrease from the year before. However, sales in the tourism sector significantly increased in the year. Last year's gross income in the sector recorded 6.5 trillion won, which is up 15% from the year before. An increase in spending by non-Koreans led the growth. The growth was mainly made in local duty-free shops and casino businesses. Spending by foreigners increased 55% at retail businesses, including duty-free shops, and 185% at businesses related to arts, sports, and leisure, including casino businesses, in 2018. Especially, sales at the Landing Casino in Sogipo hit 385 billion won for the first time last year. It was a dramatic increase from just 17 billion won in 2017. Meanwhile, sales at accommodations, restaurants and transport businesses that can directly contribute to the economy of local households decreased. It is because of the sharp decrease in the number of Koreans visiting Jeju as a result of the economic downturn and low accessibility to the island. The Jeju Tourism Organization says that the increase in the number of Korean visitors is the key to income growth in the sectors that help the local economy. The organization adds that spending by non-Koreans, now only focused on duty-free shops and casino businesses, needs to be diversified by creating businesses in which foreigners can loosen their purse strings. Joseph Kim, KCTV.